hello guys welcome back to my channel um this is going to be the last reading for the friendship series um i didn't want to leave these two special ladies out of this series so i'm going to make it brief and quick because like i mentioned in my prior reading about tx members i'm not feeling my best because i had like the the re reinforced shot of the vaccine that kill here we actually we, we call it the third vaccine but it's not the third the third is the third time that i get a vaccine but it's not a different vaccine it's like a reinform re reinforcement so i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly so i'm going to go straight to the point with these two special ladies so we're talking about um um jesse and uh, Mama Muwasa, someone was very kind to ask me for this too. And I wanted to end this series with some female energies, you know, that I always, uh, I had asked and request for you to be like having more consideration and also let's give our ladies very, um, very talented ladies in the K-pop industry, some, you know, some... A moment to shine so let's let's keep them also and i'm going to plan in the future to do a series on for uh, female uh, idols only so we can have a whole week of only reading for your favorites of uh, females um so let's start with jesse i placed her on the left and i placed wasa on the right uh so jesse is a sagittarius with the moon in aries and Wasa is a Leo with uh, a moon in Gemini. So definitely what they both share in common is that their sun signs are in fire signs. But I think that we can uh, tell that there's a huge difference between um, um, Jesse's energy uh, and and Wasa's energy uh, just because uh, you know that Jesse has like a double like a, a double uh, um, um, like um, influence of a fire elements in her personality you know in in what she shows in the outer side and what she is feeling in the inside so definitely she's a very passionate very straightforward lady she i i, I dare to say with the, the the little that i know about her and and the little that I have observe, observed her, that she is definitely very, very authentic. So if you think that actually her personality is a bit over the top or if she is faking it for the cameras, this is not true. Actually, she is a very passionate female. She is very straightforward. She is very passionate about reaching her goals. And she is also very honest about how she feels and what she likes and what she doesn't like. So this makes her, uh, yes, stand, stand out in, in this, um, um, you know, um, this uh, K-pop industry that sometimes ladies... Uh, or the females, they tend to have these concepts or of, of not being so, um, of not having actually, it's not about permission, but it seems like they do have these sort of uh, concepts that their company gives them about uh, their body language, the way they they speak, the, the tone of their voice, you know, and actually Jessie, because she has other life experiences, uh, she has like a more independent kind of energy. So this is what you see from her on TV is how she is in real life. So of course that I do not know her. I do not claim to know her. I just, uh, I'm speaking about this from an energetic point of view. Uh, and when it comes to Wasa, well, Wasa is, she's a very passionate lady as well, but since she has uh, a lot of cancer placements and a Libra Mars probably, she is passionate and straightforward and very proud of herself but at the same time she does consider others it's, it's like she needs the other part 
to she needs her community she needs her people she needs her teammates to actually feel whole you know it seems like she could potentially shine on her own she could be successful on her own actually but i think that this is not what she wants because she she loves to she loves to to be part of a tree of a team you know she loves to nourish him herself from her her people you know so let's see a bit about their their dynamic so wasa got the devil card the ten of swords and the page of swords in reverse <laughs> so starting off with the devil card definitely very strong energy here she doesn't hold back she doesn't hold back and how she feels about wasa is that she has this very she finds wasa very magnetic very very interesting and also very seductive it's like it seems like she finds um she finds wasa like um very alluring you know and i'm not, and I'm not talking about uh feeling attracted I, I'm, i'm more like she actually likes her energy and and it seems like she wants to contribute to to wasa like getting more like courageous about showing her wild side you know probably i don't know maybe advising her to to having more dark concepts or to to keep you know keep being sexy or keep being like feeling comfortable in showing skin or in 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 expressing herself with uh, more like um more like um like trying to be more provocative you know i think that she definitely sees the potential in wasa she sees that there's, there's a, a very strong energy coming for, from wasa this is what jesse showed me and it seems like she cannot look away from wasa you know it's like she's she sees her and it's like wow this girl has potential you know and i need to help her realize that she has it you know that that she shouldn't feel restrained or that she shouldn't feel like um diminished for other people's content that i uh, comment because i think that there's a part of of this devil card that it's about you know being owning your sexuality you know allowing yourself to be sensual allowing yourself to be provocative you know being very magnetic in in the eyes of the audience so and i think that uh jesse somehow is very used to this kind of you know of people criticism or of people thinking negative about her image sometimes you know or sometimes feeling like people just don't get that what she's doing is a, a different way of making art but it's a still a way of expression and that she has the right as an artist to be as expressive as she wants and i think that she would like to share this and i think she already has uh talked to us about this you know about owning her femininity about owning her own power about showing herself very proud you know like like unleash your potential girl something like that you know unleash your potential because you have it you have the potential to enchant people to enchant people to enchant the audience with your image with your body language with the way you move you know so probably she's like 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 pushing her you know or advising her to be more edgy you know to not hold back because here we have the ten of swords and the page of swords so definitely i think that um um jesse definitely admires uh wasa's beauty wasa's personality and and she sees the potential but i think that she also sees wasa's limitation in a sense that here with all these swords here it it definitely means that probably they had a conversation or something where where wasa actually like expressed to she, to jesse that she felt a bit like not sure about doing certain things or not sure about you know uh, doing a concept or actually her her wanting 
to talk about certain things in her lyrics or doing expressing expressing her art in different ways and actually being rejected or probably being like um, dismissed you know or being like oh no we are not going to do this you know a, a, a certain feeling of of being rejected you know so probably this is what uh what jesse can see is that um definitely wasa has the potential in jesse's eyes but wasa is limit is is restricted is limited and her confidence is a bit like damaged because of this you know because she's not allowed to express herself there's a sense of oh, why if i if i speak my mind someone will will like uh, talk down on me or will will be critic critical with me you know it seems like there like like uh wasa is allowed to be uh sexy or to be different but at a certain level you know it seems like she's not allowed to go that deep or to go that far there's limitations and i think that this is what uh what jesse can see and she feels a bit like you know like really upset actually about it but she also cannot say anything because she understands uh industry um Jessie is not naive at all. She knows the industry. She knows how things work. And she knows that uh, if she had been able to do what she's doing, it's because she had to push and piss a lot of people off, you know, and, and break a lot of boundaries. But she understands that um, that um, was a, um circumstances are different you know and that if she has some kind of restrictions or if she does maintain herself like um like um not saying anything is because she doesn't want to uh to do damage or to um you know to cause any trouble to the rest of the members you know because she does like i mentioned in the beginning she's part of a group so her perspective is different because she has to think about others as well it's not the same for jesse that jesse is a soloist so you know it's all about her so it's a different circumstances but yes jesse does feel like it's it's sad you know that she cannot say anything um and from a wasa perspective she sees uh she has the cards of the judgment the two of pentacles and the four of of cups so yes i think that she definitely sees jesse as someone that is always like this person that is always pushing boundaries you know this person that is like the one that speaks her mind or the one that somehow it's not about being a, a, a like um um a trendsetter you know it's not about that it's more about speaking up your mind and having this very impactful way of expressing because you know like i mentioned in the beginning um jesse is very passionate and she is very eloquent as well so she definitely and she's very outspoken so she knows when i mean she is very talkative she is a, a person that she has a very she has a lot of humor you know so sometimes you can relax and say like oh Jessie's is really funny Jessie's is hilarious but when Jessie gets upset or when she gets like serious she definitely speaks some facts you know some facts that some people are not ready to face until a few years pass and then they bring out old uh videos of Jessie's saying something you know and and being like oh Jessie was right Jessie was mentioning this Jessie was uh like bringing this up so wow yes it's like you should listen to Jessie much more <laughs> because it seems like whatever she says it somehow becomes like uh a sentence you know and in not a minute from place of that she sentences people it's just that she she expresses herself from a place of 
authenticity and transparency so probably the first time you listen to her you are like shock you are you cannot believe that she said what she said but then eventually you start to rethink what she said and you're like wow this is a game changing you know she she definitely is speaking the truth and then we have um, the two of, of pentacles and the four of um, the four of cups. But definitely, what Wasa is showing me here about Jesse is that yes, Jesse is like the one that breaks the mold or actually makes change happen. It's like she's always on the move. She's always changing. She's always adapting. But that somehow she doesn't find. A sort of fulfillment in this probably there's something about Jesse that uh, from was a perspective that actually she sees that Jesse is very lonely or that Jesse for being who she is and how she is probably she is very lonely you know that she's like because she's different you know it seems like she is like this sort of outcast you know and somehow since she is very she's since she's very honest you know sometimes she can be like oh i'm okay like i don't need anyone like i don't care what they say about me you know but actually what wasa is showing me is that actually um you know uh, sometimes people talking bad or people like diminishing your work can affect you you know and i think that uh, definitely what she sees in Jesse's energy is that Jesse is kind of apathic when it comes to emotions. It seems like she's so used to people hating on her or people like talking bad about her that she doesn't care anymore. And she also feels a bit sad for Jesse's circumstances, you know, because she does see her very lonely. Like she tries to to cheer herself up, you know, it's like it seems like uh uh, but but it, I think that it has to do that also Jesse is a soloist, so you know she doesn't depend on anyone but herself, her image, her voice, and of course that she has a team that works for her. But what I what I mean is that the criticism and the compliments uh, they all go to her, you know, to her only, to her persona. You know whether they know that when whether they truly know her or they do not know her at all. Is it is not that when you are part of a group, you know when some member get criticized more than others, or some member get into trouble and others don't. You know, it seems like you can get a sort of like you can breathe. You know, when you are in a group, it's like it's not that all the attention is on you, whether this is good or bad. Uh, but in the case of Chessie, since she's only her, you know, it's all, it's, it's, it's as if you are an only child, it's the same. So from Wasa's perspective, she feels a bit sad for Jessie, you know, she feels like she would like to probably like make her more company, you know, like to get to see her more, you know, to hang out with her more because she does see her like very, very lonely, even though uh, Jesse acts all strong and doesn't want to face it. And the cards that came out for the relationship as an overall is the moon, the page of um, pentacles, uh, the six of wands, and the three of cups. So yes, I think that there's a possibility of them collaborating with each other or actually working together on something or on some project but i think that is going to have a very like a slow start you know i think that they are not going to get the progress that they want is going to start really slow probably with a lot of delays and a lot of insecurities uh, because of the restrictions you know that i always mention that you know, they do have to ask for permission, they do have to talk with few people, you know, and I think that with the moon here, there's also a lot of unconscious fears about, you know, I think that they do get each other because I, I always, whenever I read for females 
uh, in K-pop, female idols, I always feel this sort of fear of uncertainty. If this feeling of uncertainty, you know, fear in the future. And I think that it must be tough to try to make it as a female in, in this industry because it seems like everything uh, costs double. You know, it seems like the efforts and probably your ideas and your recommendations and and everything that you have in mind, you need to submit it a thousand times, you need to convince people, you need to meet people, you, people need to like you, you know, the investors, the, the, the CEOs, the, all those people that just look down on you because you're a female, you know, this is, this is the reality, this is what I see. And, and I'm not, like I always mention, I'm not talking about this from the perspective of being a feminist. No, it's not about that. It's, it's about the female energy being a bit like, um, like oppressed, you know, like, oh, yes, like we could use your ideas, but yes, we, we will consider it. You will know, we, we will call you later or something like that, you know, a promise that that never, or a confirmation, you're waiting for a confirmation that never comes, you know, um, a lot of things that probably if you see for female idols, uh, I'm sorry, for male idols, I always see them like, th there's always the company that is like, oh, you should start writing your own lyrics, you should start uh, learning how to compose the songs, you know, we will receive in your request, oh, we need you to write your own rap, you know, it's like they're always encouraging the male idols to write their, their own stuff, you know even just to practice it, you know, maybe if some will never get it published, but at least they do have this sort of invitation, you know, that, okay, like start writing something and we, and submit it and we will see how you do. But in the case of females, it's always uncertainty, you know, it's always about begging for an opportunity. It's always about, you know, being on the edge of your seat, waiting for it someone to pay attention to what you have to that you want to create you know it seems like it's really tough but uh, slowly they are going to achieve something that is going to be really important and i think that it involves both of them because we have the six of ones here and we ended with the three of cups that three of cups is about joining efforts and also celebrating together so I think that they will probably will be working on a project together or they will be, I don't know, doing some individual activities where they will meet each other and they will have the chance to work together, you know, to work in the same building or in the same, um, in the same set, you know. Uh, so they will feel really happy that they get to see each other. But definitely there's like, a, there's a, a friendship here. There's, there's more than friendship, I would say. There's a sense of uh, understanding, you know, of understanding what it's like to wanting to to be different or actually feeling that you don't fit in and 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 you know you you always trying to find that one person that actually gets it and you know what's what's um uh, what's actually interesting is that both of them feel sorry for each other and not in in a sense of they feel pity for each other no they just mirror each other you know it seems like the other person's circumstances resembles a lot to what they went through once. So this is why their energies are so compatible, you know, even though their ways of speaking and expressing is totally different. But there's a sense of uh, camaraderie, you know, there's a sense of like, I get you, you know, there's this sense like, I get you, like we a strong female, we should stick together. You know, and I think that um, it's it's really nice to actually see it. It's really nice uh, that they are able to see that it's not only them, the ones that feel 
like an outcast that sometimes there's other female in the room or close to you that is also having a hard time you know like like feeling like nothing is good enough and that you are not good enough and i'm glad that they can like meet you know even though probably they cannot see each other often and probably you know like maintaining friendships relationships connections it's not easy especially when you are active you're always working but it's nice to be like looking at each other and being like I get you because I've been there myself you know it's it's really lovely I think that they definitely um need this you know they need this sort of uh, of connections so yes guys this is all I have for the two of them thank you to the person that recommended me uh this duo so I'll see you next week for uh the new the new series that of individual readings that I will be starting so have a good weekend bye